in this in this activity we are asked to draw some rational numbers some fractions using hexagons uh, we're going to be using these hexagons that are on this paper and it says if a hexagon is one draw the following so they're telling us that a hexagon is one so we have that this is one one so we have drawn one a hexagon is one there's one right there now we have to draw half one half so if this is a hexagon and this is one then we can say that this is half of that so we we can break the hexagon into two parts and one of them is one half then we are asked to draw one third after considering the hexagon we can see that this is one third of the hexagon because two more of these pieces make one whole so this is one third two thirds would look like this this is one third and another third so this would be the two thirds now we have to look at quarters so we have to break the hexagon into fourths and this is one way of doing that this is one fourth of a hexagon one fourth here would be the other fourth and here would be we would have the other two fourths so that's one fourth right there then they ask us to draw three fourths so I'm going to draw three fourths like this So we have one half, one third, two thirds, one fourth, and three fourths, three quarters. And we can keep drawing these things here. After a while, we're asked to draw some equivalences. Half is the same as two fourths, is the same as three sixths one-third is the same as two-sixths one and a half is the same as three-halves and so on in the second part they tell us that two hexagons make one so now we're talking about a different kind of <coughs> a different kind of setup where two hexagons make one so if we put two hexagons together like this two hexagons make one hole so this is one right here so now half of that is going to look like this since this whole thing is one this is half of that one third of that I'll leave you as a challenge, two-thirds, one-fourth, 
this is half so if I divide this into four pieces I'm gonna get something like this this is one fourth of this one then we have two fourths, three fourths, one sixth if we break this into six equal pieces we would get something like this so this is one sixth and so on we have to keep drawing all these things